I'm curious, you know, Gene, you mentioned the political, you know, getting everybody that buy-in. I've been in, no, I won't name names, but I've been in higher education meetings where there's almost literally been fist fights at the table between different different folks. And you know, it can get very contentious from an ownership perspective of, of you know, not having the authority from a centralized perspective to actually enforce anything or bring it forward. I mean, how, how does that actually work? Anybody can chime in. I mean, how do you really build the alliance that it takes to move the ball forward? Part of it is raising the level of discourse, right? So I think part of it is getting people to buy into statue. I see Kristen Diemich is here from our alumni group, and she can vouch that, did I show anybody the design of the new Harvard WU and all of alumni affairs and development before it launched? I think part of it is because what we got people to buy in on is here's our new strategy. We all agree that we have these goals, and these goals are quantifiable metrics around driving content to schools, around page views for you know our event content, around video views and video dissemination. So everybody was bought in on the goals level, and we got everybody from you know Christine Keenan to Tamara Rogers to the you know president of the university to herself to buy in on the strategy. This is how I firmly believe, and I have good minds helping me, that we can meet these goals. And that's where if you elevate the discussion to, I'm not going to bother you with should the background be black or should the background be white. You know, we have user experience people, and that's their job. Your job is to make the high level decision on the strategy and the quantifiable goals. And if I fail to meet these quantifiable goals, you have regrets here. So that, that's been our strategy. Yeah, that's a great point. One of the challenges that we had was as I would have discussions about investing in the web or digital strategy, the, the knowledge base wasn't there among leaders to really have a a, a rational, not rational, that's not correct, but a really um, thorough, smart conversation around it. And I was so passionate about it, I had to dig in deep because it was part of my responsibility. So I could speak to it, but as I started speaking to my colleagues and saying how important this is, I realized that they just weren't in tune enough with how um, just basic web education. So one of the reasons we brought iSight in was the process of working with them to do an assessment raised the bar around the understanding of what um, we can achieve through a more um, Sophisticated strategy. I think just my experience at Emerson, it helps so much in any marketing field to bring someone on or have someone in your department that knows a little bit about what the other departments do or has that experience. Uh, because when I came in, I had sort of this mixed media content uh, IT background, but I came into a more marketing role where it was easy for me to pick up strategy goals, uh, those kind of things that are talked about in my office all the time. But then when they say, well, how would we go about doing that, rather than say, you know, oh, IT can build that for us, right? It's the idea of me being a filter to say, you know what, they can build this, but we can't build that, and this is gonna take six months, but let's go this way. So I think it's important to structure your team to have someone that knows just a little bit about like building those bridges. It's much easier to build them if you're halfway there and they're halfway there, rather than completely build them all the way through. That's a, that's a, I just wanna say, that's a, a gigantic benefit, I think, to team building. And I, I'm lucky enough that I was, in, I was in my organization for a while, so I had I had an understanding of different business units. I've worked across the three schools in different marketing roles. But I built a team that has key client support contacts mm -hmm. so that they are going to be the experts in those different business units. So working with undergrad, working with grad, working with exec ed. That's how I was able to sell it to all those different schools. And so um, to, to let them know that we'll have an expert on our team that's going to understand your business needs, your digital marketing needs, um, to try to align those goals to kind of meet um, what we want to do from a web perspective. So I think that's integral in terms of trying to, if you're trying to build a core centralized group that can serve the campus, you really need to have them um, understand